So what can you do if you don't want your Teams rooms in Teams Admin Center? So we can look at Devices, Teams rooms, and let's say I don't want to have this being monitored or inventoried in Teams Admin Center. How do I remove it? So the easy way is you just click on it, go up here to Actions, and pick Block Device. At that point, it will no longer send up any data. So the health status is blocked and we're good to go. Now if you completely want to remove it out of here so you can't even see it as an inventoryable item, you would then go to remove device and all gone. So that's one way. There's another way using Skype settings.xml. So let me show you that way. All right, I'm on the admin console for this Teams room system. And I've created a Skype settings.xml file. So let's go look at it and see the simple setting we have here. So you'll have to use the Skype settings to start and begin those tags. And then we add disable tech communication, set that to true, and then we close it out with slash disable tech communication. And that's all we have. And so we then put it into this folder here. And this is all documented on docs.microsoft.com, this whole path. So let's copy it to here. And now when we restart Teams Rooms, it'll read in that file and it'll disable. So one thing to look at right now, is if we look at services and go to the Win Dev Admin Agent, you'll see it's running. Now in my, in the last little bit, I showed that um, I had it blocked. So we can see here it's blocked because when we click the actions, unblock is an option. The admin agent will need to continue to run so that it can receive that command. And then what happens is uh, when you look in these logs, this is the logs of the admin agent. You'll see all this unauthorized as it's trying to do things. It's basically unauthorized. You're not allowed to send this data to the service, or at least the service is sending back. You're an unauthorized uh, because this Teams room has been blocked. So this is still running. Now when we restart, let's see what changes on the system. So here we go and restart. Okay, Teams rooms has rebooted and I've opened the log file for the Windows agent. And we can see in here that the attack is disabled. Teams admin center is disabled, shutting down agent and ultimately agent stopped. And when we look at services, go down to the win device admin agent we can see it stopped so it's basically the admin agent tries to start on boot reads a setting and then shuts down that is how you basically completely disable the admin agent so if you do the block in admin center the agent will continue to run but not report anything if you use skype settings.xml that'll completely shut it down. Now, if you want to re-enable it later, you just change true to false in the Skype settings.xml file. There you go, save that, and then you copy it out to the uh, magic folder, which I have a shortcut in my documents to get to. We copy it here, reboot, and uh, Teams Admin Center will start working again uh, as far as sending data and things like that. So that's how you disable Teams Admin Center.